Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you're visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already guessed by the title, today's video is going to be about fragrances that were love at first sniff. And what I mean by that is these are all fragrances that from the moment I first put my nose on them, I was instantly in love and I knew I had to have them within my collection. So if you like the sound of that, then please do keep on watching. But before we get started on the video, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and I will continue creating fragrance content like this for you in the future. And I would also love it if you could join me over on Instagram. I've popped my handle on the screen. I just love chatting to everyone in the DMs. Plus I'm also putting out stories asking what YouTube content I should film next. So now we've got that out of the way, let's get started on my fragrances that were love at first sniff. And this to me is very exciting. So the first fragrance that was love at first sight slash first sniff is none other than Mason Francis Kirk de Jean Gentle Fluidity Gold. Now I haven't actually spoken about this one on my channel yet, and I know I should have spoken about it sooner, but this is one that I slept on for far too long. I knew I absolutely loved it. It was love at first sniff at the counter, but I think when you're at the Mason Francis Kirk de Jean counter, so many of their fragrances are absolutely beast mode, such as Baccarat Rouge or Oud Sadin Mood, etc. So this one could almost take a little bit of a backseat in terms of scent profile, but I absolutely loved it in store the first time I tried it and every other time after that. So in essence, this is a soft and sensual vanilla based fragrance with a little bit of musk in there. It also has notes of juniper berries, coriander and nutmeg, and I believe an amber note too. But what I mostly get from this is just a very pretty soft vanilla based fragrance with a little bit of aromatics to it. And yeah, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I've been wearing this a lot recently. I just spray it on and it's a great everyday scent. This could actually become a signature scent for me. We shall see. But yeah, it was absolutely love at first sniff. It's a very pretty fragrance. And yeah, we're gonna start the list with Mason Francis Kirk de Jean Gentle Fluidity Gold. The next fragrance is one I've also not spoken about yet on my channel, but it's too good not to share, and that is Le Orchestra Parfum, and it is Rose Trom Bone. And this is very new to my collection. One of my favorite accounts on Instagram, Aroma Anesthetics, ran by Inez, had spoken so highly about this fragrance, and her recommendations are normally so on point, and I normally absolutely love them, so I knew I had to try this one. And wow, was she spot on. So thanks so much, Inez. You've got me absolutely obsessed with Rose Tron Bone. Now, in essence, this is a very clean smelling rose scent. And whilst the sound of a clean rose scent might sound a little bit boring, I promise you it isn't. It also has this extremely juicy pear note in there, which is so Moorish, and it just makes this so fresh and juicy. And it's really hard to describe, but I would love all of my clothing to smell like this. Like if they did a laundry detergent that smelt like rose trombone, I would buy it by the bucket load. And I'm not saying this smells like laundry detergent, but it is the most beautiful, clean, fresh rose fragrance I think I've ever put my nose on, truly. It does have notes of rum, white musk, and sandalwood in the base too, but mostly what I get from this fragrance is the rose up top, and then it's followed by pear and vanilla. I do absolutely get the musk too, and it's just super fresh, it's super clean, and I don't know what more I can say about it, other than it was love at first sniff, and I absolutely adore it. And I'll be wearing this straight out the shower but also on them days I want to feel cool I think this is quite a cool girl aesthetic personally but also clean vibes too so if you haven't tried this one out I would totally recommend getting your nose on it this fragrance house is absolutely beautiful and the quality is insane and how aesthetic are these bottles so yeah that was rose trombone by Le Orchestra Parfum I think you're going to start to see a trend in what type of fragrances I normally fall in love with at first sniff. There is definitely a theme going on within this video, well two themes really, and the next fragrance that was love at first sniff was by Galan and it is Angelique Noir. And wow 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 is this the most beautiful green vanilla fragrance ever. 
And yeah, I think hands down, it actually is the best green vanilla fragrance ever personally. So similar to Rose Trombone, this also has a juicy pear note in here, but this goes in a totally different direction from Rose Trombone because this has no rose note in there. But what we do have is Angelica, pear and pink pepper. And it is so stunning. I think this is the most perfect bridal scent personally. And I wish I actually got a bigger bottle of it because I'm kind of cherishing this bottle because as you probably know, Galan, the arts collection is very expensive. But this one, in my opinion, is definitely worth the purchase. It is a soft vanilla fragrance that's not beast mode projection, but it will leave you smelling incredible. If you love a vanilla fragrance, but like more of a fresh and green based vanilla, I'd highly recommend trying this one out. What I mostly get from it is the angelica and the pear note, but then you get that beautiful kind of soft and musky vanilla in the base. It is an absolute masterpiece of a fragrance in my opinion, and one that I will forever repurchase. Who's ready to kick it up a notch and go with something a little bit more beast mode and something a little bit more sexy because this one blew my mind. And that is none other than Stefan Humbert Lucas Venom Incarnate. And I adore the Serpent collection. I actually have three from this collection. There's only six at the moment. Actually, there's seven. There's a Russian exclusive called Pink Boa, which I would love to smell. But anyway, this one to me is my perfect fragrance. It's definitely one of my signature scents. And I find this ultra alluring and so, so sexy. The main notes are strawberry. So it has big strawberry and wild strawberry, but then it also has caramel in here. And that caramel note is so delicious. Followed by raspberry, cinnamon, tonka bean, leather. Wow. Do I need to say any more? Like if you love all of those notes, you absolutely have to try this one. This is definitely one of my favorite scent profiles. Now I have three other fragrances that smell similar to this, but they all go in slightly different directions. Maybe most people wouldn't need to own all three, but I absolutely do. But anyway, let's not talk about that because maybe I could do a comparison on another day, but strawberry, caramel, and leather, that is what you're gonna get with this fragrance. It is absolutely beast mode. People will smell you. And this has given me so many compliments, but, other than people giving me compliments, I give myself compliments because this is chef's kiss stunning. I adore it, I love it, I will always own it. And if you can't tell already, I love this one. So I'm not gonna ramble on too much about it. I've spoken about it in other videos. It was an absolute love at first sniff slash love forever. So that was Venom Incarnate by Stefan Humbert Lucas. The next one is another true masterpiece that I could not be without within my collection and it is by Zerzhov and it is Starlight. And I actually purchased this one due to all of your recommendations. I love cardamom fragrances and I kept seeing this one recommended in the comments. So thank you so much to everyone that recommended this. Please do keep your recommendations coming because I am finding some absolute winners within the comments. But Starlight is definitely one of my all time favorite fragrances, especially that I've added into my collection this year. In essence, this is an almond, cardamom, bergamot, amber and cinnamon based fragrance. But what I mostly get from it is the bergamot and the cardamom in the opening. And then it kind of dries down into like an ambery, woody scent. But it has this transparency to it, which is hard to explain. It's not super dense in the dry down. So it's not a beast mode fragrance in my opinion. And I don't feel like it projects a lot. However, I think some people would disagree with that one. However, actually I did wear it the other day and my partner was like, oh, you're wearing one of your cardamom fragrances and he could smell it from across the room and it was this one. So yeah, Starlight by Zerzhov was absolutely love at first sniff and I still adore it to this day. I say to this day, like I've owned it forever, I have not. But yeah, I absolutely adore it. I think it is the most gorgeous scent profile and it is definitely one of my favorite fragrances this year. So that was Zerzhov Starlight. The next fragrance absolutely had to be included because it was love at first sniff slash love of my life. And that is Parfums de Mali Delina, the original. And the reason I say love of my life is because I will never be without this in my collection. I have so many sentimental memories attached to this one. I've worn it on very special occasions and I think she is just stunning. It's very much a lychee, rhubarb and rose scent with peonies throughout. It's very sweet 
very girly. I think it would make the perfect bridal scent. And yeah, that's all I have to say about this one really, because I know so many of you have probably tried it already. It's been very hyped up in the community and so many people do love this one. So I don't want to touch on it for too long, but if you do want to know anything more on this, please do let me know. But I figured you probably know about it already, but it's an absolute masterpiece for me. I love it so much and it's beast mode on my skin. It will absolutely last all day. So if I have got a special occasion to go to, I know this one is tried and true and will last me the whole day and night. So that was Perfumes de Mali Delina. The next fragrance that I think is an absolute masterpiece is by M. Mikalef and it is called Note Vinny. And this is a lot newer to my collection. I wish I picked this one up sooner. It would have definitely made my top 10 vanilla list. I think this is vanilla perfection in a bottle. I have been reaching for it a ton already and I am absolutely in love with it. It's a lot more complex than being just a standard vanilla, but the vanilla definitely stands right at the front stage and center. It also has notes of rum, cognac and amber in the base, which gives it a very beautiful and dense dry down, but it's lifted up by the citruses in the top. It also does have floral notes throughout. However, what I get from this is predominantly a gooey vanilla based fragrance, with a nice ambery, slightly woody dry down. It is truly spectacular and I urge everyone to get their noses on this if you do love a vanilla based fragrance. What I would liken it most to is Jerome Bohm's Insulo, Javoy's Fire at Will and slightly Kiale Vanilla 28. However, this one is a little bit more complex and yet yeah, I absolutely love this one and please do expect to see it in future videos to come because it's that special. So that was Note Vanille by M. Mikalev. Next up, we're going for a freshy, and I think this is the first fresh fragrance that I have in this list, and it is by Wilhelm, and it's called Dear Polly. Now, how aesthetically pleasing are the Wilhelm bottles? I absolutely adore them. I think they are stunning on the vanity, and probably one of my favorite bottles any designer has created. But the juice, this was love at first sniff because it's so different from what I would normally go for. It's very much a citrus black tea fragrance, very light and very fresh. But what makes this stand out from the other fresh tea fragrances on the market, it has a beautiful black amber note in the base, which gives us this really unusual depth. And I feel like you'd have to get your nose on it to understand what I'm talking about. But it has a bergamot and apple up top and then followed by the black tea. And if you like fragrances like BDK's Gris Chanel, then you probably will like Dear Polly. They are a little bit different, to be honest. I'd say this one is a bit fresher and the dry down has a little bit of musk and that black amber too. Yeah, I remember smelling this at the Wilhelm counter and I fell instantly in love with it and I bought it then and there. And this is the type of fragrance that I would reach for if I was going to work, maybe a job interview, or I think it's very much suitable for the cool girl aesthetic too, or the clean girl aesthetic also. A little bit different because it's not a straight up clean fragrance but it can pull in that category for sure. So that was Wilhelm's Dear Polly. And the last fragrance I wanna discuss, you will probably not be shocked by if you watch my channel, and it is by La Perla and it is called Possibilities. Now I'm gonna take the cap off because it is ultra reflection, and this was definitely a love at first sniff. What I got straight from my first sniff was a peppery rose or floral based fragrance and I fell in love. It has notes of petalia, blackcurrant, freesia, rose, pink pepper, and I think this is an ultra girly fragrance. It is definitely floral dominant, so you have to like floral fragrances to really enjoy this one. And some people have mentioned that they don't really get the pink pepper, but the pink pepper is so prominent to me and it lasts all day on my skin. It's a very kind of fresh and juicy floral in my opinion. That black currant just brings a real juiciness to those other floral notes, especially like freesia, which can be a lot softer. But in the base, this has vanilla, cashmere wood, and ambergris. And I just think this is truly special. It absolutely needs to be tried on the skin. And this, to me right now, is definitely my signature scent. I wear this so often and I absolutely adore it. And I know so many of you have purchased this one and have given me your feedback. And I know that so many of you are loving it. So that makes me really happy. I'm so glad that La Perla is on the map now. And quite a few people are speaking about possibilities. So yeah, 
I'm not alone in loving this fragrance. So yeah, this is the last fragrance I'm gonna be talking about today, but this was definitely a love at first sniff and it will be a love forever. I hope you enjoyed this video. I probably could have added more fragrances to this list, but I didn't want it to be too long. So please do let me know what fragrances were love at first sniff for you, because best believe I'm gonna go check them out and likely order some samples. So I would love to know your feedback on what fragrances were love at first sniff for for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel, of course, only if you enjoyed the content. I hope to see you all in a future video to come. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much and goodbye.